Good morning, class family. It's a thankful Thursday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Start in the top right-hand corner with today's date. August 29th, 2024. Dear class family, today is Thursday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Next, we will read a poem. Then, we will write and draw in our journals. After that, we will learn the parts of a book. Last, we will do literacy centers. It is a great day, love Miss Joyner. Oh, it is a great day. All right, we're gonna look back and reread the message. That's what good readers do. They reread. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Start at the top right hand corner with the date. I noticed the abbreviation for this month, spelled with the cap letter A U G period. What is that abbreviation or shortened way to write the word? What does that stand for? We'll say the name of the month out loud. If you said August, you're right. Great job. Notice the capital letter A to start. Good writers and mathematicians capitalize the first letter of each month of the year because it's special and important. They also capitalize the first letter of each day of the week. Okay, readers, we are going to continue to read from top to bottom. Let's write August 29th, 2024. Dear class family, today is Thursday. It is Thursday. It is a thankful Thursday. Notice the capital letter T that starts that sentence and the period at the end. Good writers start sentences with capital letters and end with punctuation marks. Okay, we're going to reread the second sentence. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. We do that every day, working on being a portrait of a graduate. We're practicing being a great communicator and collaborator by speaking clearly with our mouths and listening with our ears. That's what good communicators do. And we're going to be focusing on being a strong listener. We've been working on doing that every day at school in kindergarten. Being a strong listener, remember, a listener pays attention. A listener looks at the person who is talking. A listener waits for the speaker to finish talking and a listener sits still. A strong listener uses their eyes for watching, ears for listening, their mouth is silent and their body is still and in one place. All right, so we're gonna be a strong listener. Okay, first we'll learn letters and sounds. We'll use so many resources. We'll use our word wall to review letters, sounds, pictures to match that word, American Sign Language. We have the kindergarten fast words on our word wall you need to know, read, and spell to get ready for first grade next year. We're also going to be doing da 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 the five pre-writing strokes. We're going to use this when writing letters, drawing pictures, and writing numbers. Remember, we have up and around, touch, pull down, Touch, push over, slant right, slant left. Today, when we are doing dun, 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 the letter G, we're going to be sky writing letter G like G. -g. Oh, we have a visitor. Hi, Sugar. Sugar's here to visit, so you're going to see a little kitten. All right, we're going to be making the letter G. We are going to be starting the top, circle back at the top. Up, and then slide left in the middle, lowercase g, circle back, around, push up, pull down, curve in. So we'll be doing that today in kindergarten. All right, we're also going to be doing da -da -da, phonological awareness. We're going to practice recognizing the same words. I will say two words. And if the words are the same, then you will stand up. And if the words are different, then you will stand Stay seated. We'll be practicing that today at school too. Okay, next we will read a poem. So we will be reading Mary Had a Little Lamb and sequencing that poem with first, next, then, and last. And we'll be doing that together as we reread this poem today in kindergarten. 
Then we will write and draw in our journals. We will we'll be reflecting on Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. And you're going to be writing and drawing in your journals about that. And you're writing the sentence stem. My favorite part was. And you're going to share your favorite part was in Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Okay. After that, we will learn the parts of a book. We will. We will be reviewing the parts of a book. Like... The title, and we have front cover, back cover, title page, right? We have the spine, we have the author and illustrator's names, lots of things. And shout out to Jack Hartman's YouTube channel. We'll be using your parts of a book song today at school, as well as learning the letter G. We're going to use some other resources and YouTube channels. In addition to that, we have Mr. B's, the Singing Walrus, and the Learning Station, and some others too that are great and we really appreciate Last, we'll do literacy centers. We will. So we have literacy centers to do in class, including the library center and other things, working in small groups with teachers. It is a great day. Love, Miss Joyner. It is. It's fantastic. Get your fans ready. Fan. Fantastic. Oh, and remember, class family, we have a four-day weekend, so no school tomorrow and no school on Monday for the Labor Day holiday. All right, our Do You Like question for today is, do you like singing? Well, do you? Think about your answer and get ready to be a great communicator and share your reason why. Do you like singing? <laughs> 